So what you're going to need to complete this project is uh, napkins. I picked these ones up at the dollar store. I love the floral print on them. A pair of sharp scissors, an envelope, parchment paper, cling wrap, and an iron. The first thing that you want to do is remove all the plies from the napkin. This one was a three ply, so I'm going to remove the bottom two and then use the last ply with the flowers on it for my project. Now I like to make sure that the napkin is nice and flat and get all the wrinkles out of it. So I'm going to put it between the two pieces of parchment paper and iron it just so it's nice and flat and easy to work with. I have my iron set at six and no steam. This is also a craft iron. I don't use it for clothes because when you are using it for crafting, you might get little bits of plastic and um, craft materials on it and you don't want to put that on your clothes. Okay now that it's nice and flat I'm going to make sure that my envelope is going to fit onto the napkin and kind of place it where I think it's going to fit the best. Now comes the fun part, to use the cling wrap. And you want to take off a piece of cling wrap a little bit bigger than the envelope. It is shrink wrap, so when you heat it, it will shrink and get smaller. So you want to make sure you have enough around the edges. I'm just going to trim around the edges where I have too much excess and leave about a quarter inch on the outside of the envelope. Now we're ready to take the envelope and the cling wrap and put it on parchment paper. And you want to make sure you have all the air bubbles and all the little wrinkles out of the cling wrap before you set the napkin on top of it. Set the napkin exactly where you want it and then push it all smooth and then put the other piece of parchment paper on top of it. And now we're ready to iron it. My iron is set to six with no steam. You don't want any steam because that will affect the parchment paper and we don't want any water getting on the napkin or the paper underneath. And I'm gonna record this in real time so you can see how long it actually takes for the cling wrap to melt and bond to the napkin. Now I'm about halfway through ironing it and I'm just going to pick it up very carefully and it's hot so be very careful and just see any corners or any little spots where it hasn't bonded yet and then I'll go back over those areas with the iron. Now I have seen people do this technique and do the whole envelope. I've never had any luck with that because when I was ironing the glue around the sticky part on the envelope always fused together um, and then I couldn't open up the envelope. So what I like to do is just do the whole front and then the flap and leave the bottom half at the back plain.
okay i've let it cool down completely and now i'm going to take my sharp scissors and go all around the outside of the napkin and remove all of the excess After I've cut all the excess off, I like to once more put it in between the parchment paper and give it one last really good iron just to make sure that it's completely adhered everywhere. And now you can flip it over and you can fold where the line of the envelope was before and it's all finished. There's so many possibilities that you can do with this technique and so many different themed napkins. And here's the finished set the envelope and I also did a piece of paper. I antiqued a piece of plain computer paper and then I fused the napkin to the back of it so you can write your note on the other side and put it in the envelope. And here's another envelope and piece of paper that I did with the same technique with a different napkin. And there you have your beautiful envelope that looks like it came from a boutique store that you can add paper note into, gift cards, so many possibilities. I'll put a link below in the description of how I aged this paper and you can try that technique out for yourself and then fuse your napkins onto the back of it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make some really fancy boutique looking stationery and you're inspired to make some for yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day.